Alright guys, how's it going? So this is continuing on with the series for modelling tutorials. And today I'm going to look at ripping vertices. Sounds a little bit ominous. So let me introduce you to the mystery default cube. So there's several ways you can actually rip a vertice. Some users actually might class this as unwelding. The first method is using the icon here, and it's slightly different from using the vertex menu up here, rip vertices. Now the keyboard shortcut for this is V. So depending on your mouse position, so for example I'm down the bottom, I'll press V in the keyboard and I'll move this down. And you can see what it does, it essentially rips the vertices or rips the point. So this is great if you want to create topology, so I'll jump into edge mode, I'll quickly shift select these edges, I'll press F and I'll fill it in. And let's say I want to rip this vertex again, I'll press 1, I'll select this point, and I'll press V. And we can actually start to build geometry upon this. So we can do something very simple like this. And we can use the join shortcut, which is J, and we get topology like this. So ripping vertices only works on points and edges. If you try to do it with a face, you actually get an error. So something like this. So always keep that in mind, you can only rip an edge or a point. So I'm going to select these two edges here, and I'm going to press V. Now keep in mind the position of a mouse, and you get something like this. Hey, how you doing? And that's the rip vertices, so keep in mind the V for the shortcut. So I'll spin the cube of mystery, and I'll move on to this one, and I'll show you what rip vertices fill does. And it's pretty much self-explanatory. When you rip a vertice, it'll actually fill in between the polygons. So I'll select these two edges. I'll come up here, and the shortcut for rip vertices and fill is Alt and V. So I'll use a shortcut, Alt and V, and I'll move this up. And you can see what it does. It actually fills the polygons in between. So I can actually select these two edges, Alt and V again. And we get this really nice topology. Now there's one more method that we can actually use, and this is called rip and extend. So what I'm going to do here is I'll rotate the cube of mystery. Ooh, I'm going to keep doing that all day, just so you know. I'll select the bottom two edges, so they essentially share the same edge. I'll come up to vertex, rip vertices and extend. And this is actually Alt and D, I believe. And I'll press Y to constrain it to the Y axis. Now this can be a useful tool, but it's not the best when it comes to geometry. So let me jump into wireframe. You can see here. Now this can be easily fixed. So I'll press 1 to jump into point mode. I'll select these two points and I'll press J to join them. And that's pretty much the rip and extend vertices. There is several different techniques. And some may benefit your workflow at certain times. Now if I spin the mystery cube, ooh, seriously I'm going to do that all video. <laughs> so let me show you the difference by using that icon here on the bottom left. So the first option we get is rip region. Rip region kind of makes things automatic, so let me see, I'll select this edge. I can pull it apart, select this edge. And you can actually end up separating geometry from the mesh. So you get something like this. That's a pretty good tool in its own right, and it kind of speeds up your workflow. Now if you hold the button in, you'll actually see you get rip edge. And to be honest, I generally don't use this tool. So I'll select this edge, and I'll pull it out, and you get something like this. I'll jump into wireframe just to show you how much of a mess it can make. So these tools are powerful, but always keep in mind you have several different options. And that's pretty much the basics of rip vertices. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, stick a comment down below if there's a better method or if I'm doing things completely wrong. You know what to do. Peace.